back to the channel if you are new here thank you for stopping by if you are already a part of the amanda marie team welcome back thank you guys for showing me so much love and support i really do appreciate it if you're into fragrances i would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel i felt like this video was really long overdue it's been a while i have to go back and look at my previous videos and see when the last time I did a full fragrance collection video. It's been a while. So I thought, you know what? It would be a good idea to show you guys what fragrances I have in my collection. My collection, to be honest with you, has really changed, okay? Since I first started reviewing fragrances, YouTube influenced me a lot, Instagram influenced me a lot, TikTok influenced me a lot, and I just kind of added those fragrances in my collection. And then like the next year, because I think I've only been doing this now for about four or five years. I don't know, I forgot. But as I kind of evolved in my fragrance journey, um, certain fragrances I'm not really into anymore. Like I know now I'm sticking more to what I love. When my fragrance collection was huge, it was massive. I probably had over 300 bottles. When I would look at that collection, I would be like, oh my God, I'm never gonna go through all these fragrances. And contrary to what you may think you know, fragrances can go bad. They can turn, they can get old, okay? When you buy a brand new bottle of perfume, the very first time you spray it, you're letting air into it, and that's when the aging process begins. It's like driving a new car off the lot. It starts to lose appreciation. It's the same with fragrances. I was like, you know what? It's time for me to really, like, really zone in on my collection, really figure out the fragrances that resonated with me it was it was a tough decision i'm not gonna lie it was not the easiest decision to start curating my fragrance collection but i made it up in my mind and i actually did it i started curating my fragrance collection i want to say probably earlier last year i started getting uh, rid of a lot of fragrance so without further ado, we're going to get this video going. Hopefully it won't be too long, but as you will see in the video, my collection has been trimmed down. Okay, it's been trimmed down. All the fragrances that you're going to see in the video are fragrances that I love. I don't want to get rid of. I want them in my collection. And so these are fragrances that I just absolutely love. I am going to switch over to my iPhone and record this video. Hopefully it comes out nice and clear, but my camera is too heavy to uh, hold it for a long period of time. My hands will start shaking and shit like, no. <laughs> I'll get like, I don't know, carpal tunnel wrists. My wrists will start hurting or something, I don't know. So I'm gonna switch over to my iPhone and hopefully um, again, the picture will be clear, but I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to see all the fragrances I have in my collection, plus I do have a drawer in my closet, which I'm going to show you guys as well. That drawer is full of, oh, you know what? Before we do that, let me just tell you guys. So I recently moved, right? And oh my God, it was, child, I don't know why I didn't record that whole process, Probably because I was going through so much at the time, it was just already stressful for me. And I don't know why I didn't record the unpacking. Maybe I have some videos uh, in my phone. If I do, I'll include it in this video. But there's one box that I want to show you guys uh, that has nothing but samples and decants and things like that. Maybe I'll try to... I don't know I'll show you I will include that in the video as well so you can see those and then I have a, a drawer in my bedroom for overflow fragrances uh, fragrances that I do like um, they don't fit here because I've already literally ran out of space here I guess I could put them all here but it would just look 
even more congested than it looks now i feel like it this is congested like this is enough right let's get into the video all right you guys i switched to my cell phone because it's easier for me to hold this my cell phone versus holding my camera like i told y'all okay so this is the whole shelving from top to bottom okay now remember i told y'all i had some boxes let me show y'all that first so i just recently moved and these are all of my samples i have some decants in here that i need to put up um more samples that's like my little decant holder right there lotions from bath and body works this bay right here in the stars love it and just my little decant holder so i gotta figure out where i'm going to put all of this stuff i gotta figure that out these are some more what is this oh lord i gotta figure out what to do with these okay there we go my little miniature uh Kristen Louboutin fragrances that I need to put up. All of them are in this bag here. I got to figure out what to do with those. I haven't figured it out yet. But anyway, let's get back to the collection. So here at the top, I have all of my stilettos. These are the Carolina Herrera um good girl fragrances and these are the flankers this is the very good girl legere very good girl extreme and very good girl glam next to that i have my lunchra d's the original lunchra d intense and rouge and then here i have the c's by giorgio armani this is the original this is the reformulated um original not the one from like what 20 when did it come out i don't know why i want to say 07 anyway in the earlier part of 2000 okay this is the reformulated this is the c passion this is the c intense the original c intense that i bought from um uh, rebecca she's a a uh, YouTuber here as well, a uh, fragrance influencer. I was so happy to, to get this when I saw she was selling it. I had to pick it up because I do like the Armani C-Line. Oddly, I didn't like this fragrance when it first released and I kicked myself years later for not getting it when it first released because it's been reformulated and I feel like this smells way different than the original release. And the last one back here is C, um, is it Flore? C Flore. Of course, you guys know that one has now been discontinued. And yeah, I don't know why they always want to discontinue the fragrances that people actually enjoy and love. I actually love that one because it reminds me so much. And I'm talking about the pink one all the way in the back. It reminds me so much of like a Starbucks burst fruity candy or something like that anyway moving on these are all my boho boco fragrances you guys know i'm in love with eternal lily the last one back there is wild carrot oud eternal lily jasmine white leather which i've not spoken about that one yet i do intend on doing a review on that one wild cherry liquor and sea salt caramel all right, moving on to this next shelf. I have just a mix up. I do um, put my fragrances in the same house because that's how I like to um, display them. I like all the, I want all my fragrances, same house. I, I don't know any other way that I would categorize them, to be honest with you. I just like for them all to be in the same house. So these are not, all of these are not, in the same house because I only have singles. So for instance, I only have the Tiffany and this is the Tiffany Intense. Now I did have the original Tiffany. I don't know if you guys can see it. 
right here. I did have the original Tiffany, but I have since let that one go because I said it was no, it made no sense for me to hold on to two Tiffany's when I actually preferred the intense Tiffany over the original. This is fairly new to my collection. This is um, Shalimar's Tonka Melinsome. And I've done a review on that one. I actually enjoy this one. The Shalimar fragrances are a little bit challenging for me because they are they give me a very vintage, nostalgic, old school smell that I'm kind of over, to be honest with you. So I do enjoy that one. Um, it'll be mostly for fall and winter. And when I say winter, I mean like cold, okay? Like cold, cold, 40 degree cold winter okay that cold this is romance i got this one for nostalgic reasons i grew up wearing romance this is the pop on though that's a little bit different but it still is enough for me to have those same like nostalgic feels and vibes and whatnot this is the uh Giorgio armani my way it is the intense version i got rid of the original version because i didn't need both this is Jimmy Choo Fever. I really messed up with when I bought this one because I wanted the Jimmy Choo, but I didn't want the Fever. I wanted the one in the orange bottle, and I cannot think of the name of that one. Um, but yeah, do I need to dust? Okay, it may look like I need to dust, guys, but I actually don't. That's just from the <laughs> spray paint or whatever. But this one, I like it. It still reminds me a lot of the original Jimmy Choo. It has a lot of orange blossom in it to me still. Uh, love this one. This is Narciso Rodriguez. This is the White Cube Pudre. This is um, Narciso Rodriguez Her. This is Narciso Rodriguez Her Fleur, Musk Fleur. And this is my baby right here. This is Musk Noir. Love this one to death. If you are a lover of Musk, you love this. I will tell you the only sad part about that is um, it doesn't project well and it doesn't last that long. So, But I think it is a great fragrance maybe to layer with um, and to maybe pair it with another Musk fragrance that's going to give you like a better projection or whatever. Back here is here. I'm starting my Middle Eastern scents, okay? This is kind of new to my collection. This is Kamara. This has been like talked about since I want to say before Christmas. It's said to be a dupe for um, Killian's Angel Share, but I think it, it's a fragr fragrance that can stand on its own. This is uh, Love and Tour Film. And it reminds me a lot of Creed Aventus Her, which is why I have it. This is La, uh, um, both of these. This is from Latafa. Okay, this is from um, Al Haraman. This, these other three are from Al Haraman as well. This is a dupe for um, Baccarat Rouge Extrait. This is the Amber Oud Rouge. Okay, and then I have the Amber Oud Gold right here and this is the amber oud tobacco edition which smells like tom ford's tobacco vinyl this is i want to say quiet by latafa it's very it has a very middle eastern smell and feel to it leans more masculine in my opinion if i'm just being honest um this is shagoff oud you guys know that one these two were gifted to me from Golden Scents, and I cannot remember the names of those fragrances. We're going to jump right over here to the side. Um, this is kind of getting more into my niche side. This is really like, well, it's mixed up, but somewhere in here <laughs> is my niche. And then I have my designers, like the niche kind of cuts off their designers all down here and over here designer and kind of the rest of it is it's kind of mixed in but we, we i'm jumping off track let me get back over here i have my um mfk fragrances of course you guys know i have the baccarat i have the oud sad mood let me get over here to the side where y'all can see 
I have the um, Baccarat oil, which I love. I probably should put this in my bath because usually I put oils on right when I get out of the shower. I have um, 724. I have the Grand Soir. And this is, I'm holding on to this. This is actually a fake that I did a video with, but I feel like it looked kind of good on my display. But that's why I have it in the back. But it's a fake for uh, 540 X straight. The weird thing of it is, though, the weird thing of it is, it smells so damn good. And you know what? Just to jump off subject real quick, I know that it's a fake, right? And if y'all haven't saw that video, I put it on my Instagram. But why do some of the fakes smell so freaking real? Why is that? Can somebody explain that to me in the comments? The only reason why I knew it was a fake, well, for two reasons, I felt it was a fake. I didn't get it from <laughs> the uh, department store. I got it from somewhere else. I won't mention. I was I was sworn to secrecy, child, so I ain't even going to mention it. But anyway, so don't y'all ask me because <laughs> I ain't going to tell you. Uh, this is Gentle Fluidity Gold. I love how they came out with the 1.2 ounce. I think that was amazing. I mean, they're still pricey now. They were a good deal probably about three or four months ago because you could get them right off of the MFK website for about 90 bucks. But now I think they are regular price. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. This is, um, what is this? This is amaris home okay love that one because it has like a chocolate note in it that i actually like it does lean very masculine though um this is la home a la rose over here i'm starting my tom fords this is tom ford black orchid this is a bottle i've had forever um let me see what's a good angle this is tom ford's um gray vetiver yeah, Grey Vetiver, that was gifted to me. This is my new bottle of Tom Ford's Black Orchid. I had to get a new bottle because that one is almost low, and I just wanted a new bottle. This is um, Noir Parfum. This one is Noir Extreme, which I think is market marketed for men. This is the... Um, Tom Ford Metalik, Tom Ford Umbre Leather. This is uh, Eben Fumé. Now we're getting into the Private Blend uh, collection. And then we have Tuscan Leather. Okay, and then back there we have uh, Sole Neige back there. Okay. Um... I don't know if I'm going to get the Smoking Cherry because I've heard so many mixed reviews about that fragrance. I just don't know. I haven't even run out to smell it, to be honest with you guys. Um, but anyway, these are two. I only have two um, Parfum de Mali fragrances, which is Delina Exclusive and Casili. I love Casili so, so much. It's literally one of my favorite fragrances from Parfums de Marley. Yes, yes, yes. I know somebody's thinking it right now. And if your fingers could move fast enough, you would probably say, but it doesn't last long. And I will agree with you 100%, girl. No, it doesn't. But it is one of the most beautiful, creamiest, white floral fragrances I've smelled in a long time. And I think it's super feminine. And coming from a, a woman who has doesn't have a lot of ultra feminine fragrances, um, I really adore it. So, yeah. All right, moving on down here is mostly my Killian collection. And here we have uh, Moonlight in Heaven. I have... Um, do it for linda that was a limited edition rolling in love angel share uh liaison dangerous black phantom intoxicated what do we have back here oh this is a new one um, that i recently bought from the cosmetic company store and this is uh voulez-vous coucher avec moi which is french for will you sleep with me so i've been told 
uh, we have, and I like that one. I like that one. I'm com I've learned that Killian, he's not the perfumer behind his fragrances, but I feel like he does have a bit of a creative say so in his fragrances. And I feel like two of the notes or three of the notes that he really loves to work with are Neroli, Orange Blossom, and I want to say two bros. He loves a good two bros fragrance, honey. Because most of his fragrances, the, the well, the floral ones anyway, carry a note of two bros. And it's a good two bros. I'm not mad at the two bros. There's another hair mist back there. Um, in that little thing there, I have a, a travel of Good Girl Gone Bad, which is one of my favorite fragrances from the House of Killian. In the liqueurs, I have Angel Share, I have uh, Leverts, and then I have um, Apple Brandy on the rocks, okay? I have a few Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. I have Cabria, Deluxe, Tibet, and this is called Popora. Oh, I don't know if I say that name right, but it's Popora, okay? And down here, I have a lot of different um, singles. Some of them are categori categorized by houses like my YSLs. I have the Leave Intense and Le Parfum. I have the um, YSL Black Opium, the Intense version, Mont Paris. I have some Illicit by Jimmy Choo, a little bit of Donna Karen uh, Pure have some Armani codes. I have some Armani. This is Armani code satin. This is um, discontinued, and I actually found it at a little perfume shop uh, down the street from me. And because it was discontinued, I had to have it because yeah, I'm that girl. I will buy a discontinued fragrance. I have some Valentino. That's Valentino. What is that? This is Valentino, oh my God, I knew I was not gonna remember. Valentino, oh my God, why can't I remember this one? Anyway, it's a Valentino. <laughs> Y'all comment down below. This is uh, Donna Born in Roma, and this is uh, for men, that's the Umo Yellow Dream. Okay, I have some Versace's here. Versace Dylan Blue, which I cannot let go. I actually love that fragrance. I haven't worn it in a while. I need to smell it to make sure it hasn't turned on me. I have a uh, Versace Euros Parfum, and I have something for me in the back here. This is the uh, Eau Fresh by Versace. In the back, I do have a fragrance. It's a, a Middle Eastern fragrance called Ornament. You know, the girls was going crazy for that fragrance last summer because of, was it last summer or summer before last? I can't remember, but uh, Fumi Mune was talking about that fragrance and it literally went viral and I love it. I have some Dolce Gabbana's. I have the original light blue, the one where the top is missing. And I have uh, Love is Love right there. And it literally smells like uh, Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I have Dolce & Gabbana. This is the only one. I love that one. Beautiful Gourmand scent. And this is Bay right here. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the one, okay? This is my second bottle of this. I used to wear this a lot in the back in the day when it first came out. What was that like? 07, 08, 09, somewhere up in there, okay? All the way in the back, I have the um, whisk, Coffee and Whiskey by Bath and Body Works. That is Calvin Klein's uh, Secret Obsession, which I love. I have a little bottle of Burberry Woman, Burberry Her Elixir. Uh, Burberry her no no this a uh, Burberry it's not rhythm this is Burberry why can't I remember the names of this Brit Burberry Brit which I love to wear in the winter time that's a beautiful scent you guys this is my second bottle of that one I literally just bought that bottle not that long ago and I have the Burberry her intense uh, right here, which is discontinued. They no longer make it. 
Okay, mama got to get down here and see that's a part about this shelving that I don't like is this bottom shelf. <laughs> In the bottom shelf all the way, uh, let's start over here. I have Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense, which I do like and, and I need to wear more often. I have the Daisy Love, which I surprisingly, I actually enjoy. Um, let's see. I have some Prada candies. As you can see in the back, I have one that's almost empty. And some flankers. The Prada Candy by Night, I actually just bought along with the Prada Paradox. This one is a beautiful scent, you guys. It does remind me of My Way, but... I think the longevity is better. And then the dry down, it may start off smelling like that, but the dry down ends up a totally different way, in my opinion. I have some fragrances in the back that was sent to me from Good Company Perfume. If you've never heard of them, you should definitely check them out. They are black owned. I have three of them there. And I think I might end up selling this one because I never grabbed for this. This is Twilly O Ginger. I, 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 it's been up on the chopping block a few times and I've always taken it off. I don't know if it's going to be in the collection next year. Let me just say that. I do have some Gucci's. I have a Gucci by Gucci. I have um, Gucci Perfume. Gucci Guilty Absolute Perfume. And then I have Gucci Guilty Intense Perfume, which I just purchased. That This really was an impulse buy, y'all. Like, it really was. Um, and I don't know if it's going to make it uh, to see next year in my collection. I, I may need to play with it a little bit more just to see, just to see. And in the back here is my all-time favorite, Gucci Rush, okay? All right, so let me put those back. My Gucci's. I have two fragrances here from Paco Rabanne. Pure Excess, which does smell like popcorn. What is it? Popcorn or something like that. But then after about 30 minutes, it just smells extremely sweet. This is Bay right here. I'm actually trying to find a backup bottle for this. This is Olympia Intense. I did not like the original release. The Intense is everything to me. Y'all can see my dent. I, I'm using it very sparingly because I cannot find the Intense anywhere and I want it. I have some uh, Lolita Limpica. I finally got a bottle of Sarah Jessica Parker stash in my collection. Y'all know this fragrance right here. It went viral to this one, this one, over the summer, Jasmine Wisp, uh, Oud for Glory from Latafa, and then I have some more Middle Eastern scents. I don't know what this one, what's this one in, right here? Uh, Barrique smells like kind of Bosque. Baccarat, kind of Baccarat-esque. And then I have Rockba. That's Rockba back there. Um, so yeah. Okay, let me get up <laughs> off the floor. Oh my gosh. I should have just stayed down there since I gotta get back down there. Anyway, I'm up now. All right, let's start over here. I got my Chanel's. This is like my bougie section over here. Like this, my bougie auntie section. I got the Coco Mademoiselles, the Coco Noirs, the Chanel Chance, Otandre, the original Chanel. I got two blue de Chanel's. This one is fairly new because this one kind of turned on me. I want to say this one is the toilet. But I wanted to, I went ahead and got a new one and got it in the old Papa version. My Miss Dior 2017. This, in my opinion, is a collector's item. And how did I come about it? How did I come about it? I bought it off of Fragrance X. 
fragrance X or fragrance net. And then I checked the batch code and honey, come to find out it was a 2017. I said, hey, I got lucky with that one. This one I'm keeping in my collection because I do consider that to be a collector's edition. I have some J'adore, Feb Delicios, my Chloe, my Chloe Nomad, and then I got some Cartier back there. That's the Cartier Grand Soir. Is it Grand Soir? Something like that. Moving over here, I have my beautiful uh, cupcakes and I have my bonds. We'll start with the bond. In the back, I have the beloved and talked about, most talked about New Harlem. I did not want it in that big bottle, but that's that's what I ended up getting. I have New York Musk, Cooper Square, which is probably discontinued, uh, Perfume Meets the Avenue, New York Amber, Nolita, Tribeca, and Greenwich Village. These three, one, two, three, are the newest in my collection. I bought that in a trio set and I felt like that was a pretty good deal, to be honest with you. As far as my cupcakes, I have the mini, which came out last year. Mickey came out I want to say year before last. I have the Wonder Woman 84. This is Whispers of Truth. It smells a little bit Baccarat-esque, but more citrus in it, in my opinion. I love this one. Benevolence and Emerald Rain. And these are, what are those? I think one is, oh my God. Let me see. I'm going to have to open it. Hold on. This one is a travel of Passion de l'Amour. I have three other decants, a refillable decants or whatever. And this is Love is in the Air. I have three of those. And I'm guessing I should put this one up here too. I think I only have one of this. But this is the trend. And it reminds me a lot of like a Chanel type of scent. It actually could be a really great dupe for Chanel, okay? Moving down here, we have a little bit more of the niche. We're getting into the niche now, okay? Um, over here, I have all of my Kaylee. Should I come over here this way? No, let's go over here. I have my Kaylee's Vanilla 28, Elixir 11, Eden Juicy Apple, uh, sugar patchouli, sugar patchouli royale 64. Probably still not saying it right. Love face burning cherry 48. This is oh my god, what is this? Invite only, invite only musk 12, sweet diamond, pink pepper. And I have some little travels. I have the hairspray. If you don't have the hairspray, honey, you are missing out. That's the uh deja vu white flower hairspray it smells very different from the perfume in my opinion i have uh some le labo with two le labos oh let me not forget about this this is my baby right here this is from malin and gets that's dark rum which i love and i'm gonna get cannabis by malin and gets because i love that one too they noir 29 from le labo and then, of course, I have my beloved Another 13. I have uh, two fragrances from The Harmonist. This one is Desired Earth. And then this one is Hypnotizing Fire. This one was gifted to me. And this one I bought with my own coin. Love both of those. I'm glad I was introduced to The Harmonist because I love their fragrances. Uh, this one is fairly new to my collection. This Everybody had this one, but at the time, I could not afford to buy it. And so, um, I recently bought that for myself probably maybe five months ago, six months ago or something like that. This is uh, Luby. Is it Luby Crown? Luby Rouge. This is Luby Rouge, the Christian Luby Ton fragrance. And this is Luby Crown. I actually bought Luby Crown first because I like that one a little bit better, to be honest with you. 
Um, back here, I have Morning Chess by Wilhelm, po a little bit of Poets of Berlin by Wilhelm, Ebony Wood from Zara, which I do love a lot. Um, Santel Carmen, which is my favorite fragrance from Atelier Cologne. Trajan's uh, by Trajan by Lictimus. And over here, I have some Donna Karen. They're kind of old school. This was like a limited edition of the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist, Cashmere Mist, and Donna Karen Woman. I, I can't remember what that one is, but it's a Donna Karen, Donna Karen fragrance, okay? Moving along, I have two fragrances from the House of Oud. This was my first one, Dates Delight. And this one is, oh my God, Just Before. Is it Just Before? Is it Just Before? Yes, I don't think y'all can see it, but this is just before. Okay, I have a small bottle of I Am Trash by Etat Libre, the orange. Flora Botanica, I have a big backup bottle of this one. Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. Mew Mew Twist, which smells just like Bow the Freak, I'm telling you. This fragrance, Mew Mew Twist, if you can find it and you like Bow the Freak by Barreto, save yourself some money and get this one because I promise you they are dupes, okay? Dupes. Maybe not intentional, but they smell just alike. I have um, Rihanna's um, Eau de Parfum, Fenty Eau de Parfum. I have um, Exalté by Fumi Monet. Mojave Ghost by Barreto. Let me light it up a little bit. Mojave Ghost by Barreto. This is my own personal fragrance from Olfactory New York. It's called NOL, No Ordinary Love. I actually worked with them to create that fragrance and you can actually buy it. I have a link down in my description. It's beautiful, you guys. I actually blended this and created this and y'all can see the dent in it it's gorgeous me personally that's what i think um if y'all want a, another video on it let me know this is uh paisley dreams by happy land love that one and this is rhyolite by happy land i was put on by um mr fox the fantastic miss friend is it freck Fractastic Mr. Fox. <laughs> uh, I love that. Back here, I have a bottle of Oud People by The Elemental. And over here, I have some Imaginary Authors, Slow Explosion, a Whiff of a Waffle Cone, which has been on the chopping block for... It's probably been on the chopping block a few times, honey, because there's something in that fragrance that I don't like. It smells plasticky, and I've been trying to sell it. I've been going back and forth with myself on selling that one, no lie. Um, I love this one. This is Yesterday's Haze, Imaginary, Imaginary Authors. This is Tiger Tiger by Francesca Bianchi love her i actually intend on buying more uh francesca bianchi fragrances this year because i actually do love her fragrances this is uh triumph of bacchus by argos y'all see the dent it plays no games period over here i have my jean paul gautier's i have scandal this is scandal by night i believe because the original scandal was a little bit too heavy on the honey for me and it kind of made me nauseated sometimes um so i sold that one and then i picked up scandal by night it still is have has a heavy dose it still has a heavy dose of honey but i feel like it's a little bit more toned down I have my uh, LaBelle, the original, and then LaBelle Le Parfum, and then LaBelle Fleur Terrible. Back there, I have Hypnose, which is my second bottle by Lancome. I actually love that fragrance. 
that fragrance is very nostalgic for me and i just wanted it back in my collection i bought it last year i believe and then here i have uh la via belle by lancome i have two uh trezor what are we calling these la nuit this is la folle okay and this one is Trezor. I want to say this is which one is this? La Nuit. Yeah, this is La Nuit. Uh, La Folle is that one. Givenchy. I have a few of those. It seems like I should have more Givenchy. Uh, what's going on here? Oh my god, I just realized that I have them separated. Those three bottles should actually be over here with the other Jean Fontaine cheese. I'm glad I caught that on the video. Um, and I'll move them soon. But I have Hot Couture. Let's see if I can light it up for you guys. Hot Couture by Jean Fontaine. I have Irresistible, which is a great fruity, sweet, everyday scent. Pie is very masculine, but it is the most beautiful vanillic fragrance I smell unique vanillic fragrance okay I have two fragrances from uh you this is Atar USA or Atar um Caltat Night and Queen of Sheba this one smells very much like Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian and this one smells very much like Angel Share um by Killian so yeah they're kind of like, they're giving dupe vibes, but I really don't want to call them dupes, but they're giving dupe vibes, okay? Back here, I have my um, Victor and Roth fragrances. I have, ooh, let me get down here, baby, the knees. I ain't got them knees like Meg, man. My knees is old. Uh, this is Flower Bomb Nectar, the original Flower Bomb. Flower Bomb Orchid, Flower Bomb by Night, and back there is Spice Bomb for men. This one is Bon Bon, and I have a little mini Flower Bomb. I have my Commodity Fragrances, Milk Bold, which I love, Gold Bold, Velvet Bold, and what is this one in the back? Is it paper? Moss. Moss bold. I also have vetiver, which I found at Ross um, a long time ago. And this one was gifted to me. I cannot remember the name. Called Vision by Max and Philip. Which I like that. That's a very beautiful ambery scent. Um, I have Musk Panache by Maurice Rochelle, which is kind of powdery. I have another powdery fragrance here. This is La Tessa. La Tessa. Am I saying that right? La Atesia by Mask Milano. It's a or um it's a powdery scent. It has mostly, I, I can't remember if it's orchid or a violet, but it's very, very powdery. Is the top on? Yeah, it's on now. Put that back. This one is, I'm sorry, y'all. The camera is everywhere. <laughs> this is um, Montclair Parfum. Beautiful, feminine, powdery, vanillic scents, Okay. This does light up. If you guys haven't seen it, let me turn it on for you. But it has my name that comes across the screen. Um, if you buy this bottle, you can get the bottle by itself or you can get the holder. If you get the holder, all you have to do is download the app and you can change the name on it anytime you want to. It comes with a charger and everything. Um, Fragrance Dubois Milano. Love this one. Kind of reminds me of Yerba Pura. We have uh, Nisha Niz Annie by Nisha Nay. Uh, super disappointed in this one. This is Raja 51 Parfum. But this, from my understanding, is like a... 
it's at the bottom of the totem pole from my understanding it's not like the beast mode one the beast mode one you can tell uh by you can tell that's the beast mode by the the top it has like rhinestones in it or whatever i don't want to sell it i don't know what i'm gonna do with it this is a juice box fragrance called uh live living loud which is a beautiful scent it reminds me of another fragrance by Costume National that I fell in love with years ago. Okay, back there we have this I bought at a local perfume place called Cool Limpscum. And I've never heard of this brand before. This is Crystal, Liquid Crystal. And um, it smells very niche to me and different and I don't know, I just, I love it. One day I'm gonna find the perfect place to wear it, okay? This is Smoking Rouge by BDK Parfum. Y'all know who that is. I have two replica scents. One is Jazz Club, the little bitty one, and the other one is Coffee Break. Coffee Break and this, they kind of remind me of each other a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? Pretty vanilla scents. I have uh, three Manceras, Hindu Kush, Instant Crush, and Red Tobacco. Did I mention the Mercedes-Benz Club Black? Don't know if it did or not. Okay, last little shelf over here, and then I want to show you all the box, and then I'll be done. Now, down here, I keep a lot of my dupes. <sighs> I'm kind of debating if I even want to talk about this brand because they really did me dirty. Um, this is one of the first brands that I actually worked with. Let me sit down here. I'm not even going to put that energy out because, I'm, oh shit, I just wanted to keep it real with y'all. Now this one too, this brand too. <laughs> Stuff came out with this brand, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, they really had some good, good, some good dupes, but they stuck their foot in it, okay? They stuck their foot in it, and people stopped working with them, and that messed up my money because they allegedly said some things, and I just feel like because of what they said, I couldn't, I couldn't, um, you know, ride with them, so right they just not right now these people right here they good people these people right here juliana's perfumes i would deal i would do business with them any day of the week not only are they on the up and up uh they are a dupe brand i forget what this is duping um sex on fire you'll have to go to the website not only are they a good brand they good people they dupes are amazing, spot on, 99.99%. They ain't never been with the fuckery, okay? Like, they just been on the up and up. I appreciate them. I have done a sponsored video for them. They sent me these three fragrances, and I have no problems with, these, with this brand. So, if you're looking for some dupes, now, these the people I would get behind. If you're looking for some dupes, try out juliana's perfumes okay um this one is amazing this is called uh call me by your name love this one and this one is the dupe for uh delina exclusive okay but i didn't had enough ranting for tonight <laughs> Uh, this is by Mamasi. This is into me a beautiful um, fragrance, very feminine, very pretty from a black owned designer. That's Jessica Simpson Fancy. Y'all know who that is. Eilish by Billie Eilish. I have all of my um, Ariana Grande's. I have the original and 2.0 and I have Kim Kardashian over here. So this would kind of be considered my celebrity section, if you will. I have two fragrances from um, Elizabeth and James. And back there, I have MAC Candy Yum Yum. 
I have some fragrances from Skylar, which I've not taken out the boxes, but I have done reviews on them. I haven't done a video yet on my um, YouTube, but I am going to do a dedicated video for them coming up real soon. I actually do like Skylar, even though if you're on TikTok and you in the fragrance community, you probably already know some of the things that's been said, um, but I'm not going to get into that. I think they are a decent brand from thus far from what I know as far as if we talking about fragrance wise, they're a decent brand. Um, that other stuff, I don't know. I just got to keep, I, I got to keep my eye out on, on it the social part of it, okay? Them the, them um, being more inclusive. I gotta watch watch them on that. But as far as their fragrances though, they have nice fragrances. I need to put all my little minis up. Okay, these are all my minis. It's a shame, I have them in the bag. Like I said, I moved and I've not been able to figure out where I'm gonna put all these things. I have more little decants in here. As you can see, I have a lot of decants. Let's see if I can show y'all. I have a lot, a lot of decants. Like a lot of 10 ml decants. This video is going to be extremely long if I showed you all the decants that I have, okay? I have a lot. I have some from Diptyque, even down to freaking Dua, Nest. I mean, you name it. Who is this? Marc Jacobs, um, Save Our Fair. Girl, I just got it all. I got to figure out what to do with it. And then in this box, I have more decants. I have all of my... Tom Ford travel sprays in here, <clears throat> in here, tobacco vinyl. Now, I know if you question why I don't have a full bottle of tobacco vinyl, I will explain to you. I've always been on the fence with tobacco vinyl. There is a note in tobacco vinyl that doesn't sit right with my spirit. And if you know anything about cigars, um, <laughs> it has a little bit of a saliva smell to it you know real cigars like the people put the the tobacco in there and they roll it like a joint and they use saliva um to roll it and i swear to y'all every time i smell it it's a beautiful scent don't get me wrong it is, but I just don't know. I feel like I smell that saliva from the tobacco. Maybe it's in my head. I don't know, child. I don't know. But anyway, I have all my little decants down here. Rose prick. It was hard for me to get into this one, too. I also have a bunch of fragrances from Nazar. They are a clone house or a dupe house as well, which y'all should totally get into. This is their Delina Rose um, dupe. Man, their fragrances are really, really amazing. Prada Ocean. They also have um, some Oud Satin Mood. My daughter tried to steal this for me. That's why it has a big dent in it. They also have some uh, original blends too. So I need to find a place to put all these things, okay? My minis are going to go on here at some point, but I need to make space, make room. Oh my God, how can I leave out my Mugler collection? Oh my goodness. This is my Mugler collection, you guys. Angel Nova in the back. Womanity, I have the... That's the Angel uh, Eau de Toilette. That's kind of like the newer version. Let me zoom out a little bit here. I can't believe I almost forgot about my Mugler. Um, this is, oof, Osu Cray. 
also this yeah this is also cray and these little holders i picked up from michael's okay they're tiny easels they were like a dollar and some change um this is the original angel and this is this is not an also cray this is old corsier maybe the 2021 or 2021 um version okay back there i have um aura i have the um angel muse and then i have some aliens the only aliens that i actually like is mirage um alien goddess and alien goddess intense those are the only ones that i like from the <laughs> alien collection okay i'm not an alien girl i'm an angel girl as you can tell okay as you see i'm an angel girl all right you guys that is my whole collection from top to bottom and i think you guys have seen my whole entire fragrance collection i hope you enjoyed it comment down below if you have any of the fragrances i showed in my collection i'm sure there's a bunch of you out there that have been following me for a while we have the same taste and fragrances so i know you guys probably have a lot of the fragrances i have in my collection already if you're into fragrances i would love for you to subscribe hit the subscribe button turn on your notification bell uh, that way you'll be notified every time i upload a video and you don't miss out so hit the thumbs up button on your way out it lets me know that you're enjoying my content it also lets Miss Algorithm know you are enjoying my content as well, and it really helps out the growth of my channel. I would appreciate that so much. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day, and I hope you are smelling good doing it, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye!